Hi, welcome to a brand new vlog. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Diane. I'm an indie published author. I have one book out currently. It's a little poetry collection called In the Interest of Letting Go. I also work in film and television as an on-set props person. And yeah, I make videos about my life and my writing process and all that stuff here on YouTube. And you're watching one of them. So subscribe if you like the vibe. So today's Thursday. It's August 29th. I just recently got back from a three-week trip in the Azores with my parents. Visiting a lot of family, doing a lot of family things. I did vlog a bit while I was there. So I'm going to share that footage in another video and kind of talk about my experience and stuff while I was there. So definitely keep an eye out for that video if you want to know a little bit more about my trip. But in general, I am very, I'm, I feel very grateful that I had the opportunity to go on that trip with my parents and to spend time with my family, not only my parents, but also my extended family. On my mom's side, who we were visiting, I love those guys. I miss them. I haven't seen them in many, many years. And yeah, I definitely had a, a lovely family filled time. Definitely before I left, I was expecting, I was expecting to, I don't know why I expected this, but I was expecting to have a bit more time to myself, like time to do my own work and my own things and my own kind of reflection and stuff. I had virtually no time for that. I spent the first few days trying to squeeze in a little bit of Ben work and stuff. So I did get a bit of Ben work done. However, not nearly as much as I thought I would. I did get a bunch of reading done while I was there and I'll talk a bit more about that a little bit later. I just kind of wanted to open up this vlog. I'm officially back. We got back on the 25th. I've kind of just taken these last couple days to sort of acclimate myself again. As as much as I loved the trip, three weeks of being away from home after only having really two weeks from when I finished work to when I went on that vacation. Like it, it's just been a lot. I just haven't felt settled, have not felt grounded. I was hoping to get a bit of that while I was on my trip, but it was not grounding in that way. It was grounding in other ways, but not in the way that I needed personally for myself. Anyway, I'm definitely feeling like I just need to, <sighs> I've basically just kind of been decompressing over the last few days. I've been getting a little bit of work done and like catching up on a few things that I needed to do, but I haven't really started getting into a real routine and like a real reset. I need a reset. Okay, I need a full on reset in every way. So that's that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing over the next few days. Anytime I'm sort of coming out of a pretty, you know, hectic time in my life, whether that's a contract at work and just working, you know, 60, 70 hours a week for months or something just kind of big emotionally or just like a heavy time, anytime I'm coming out of that and trying to get into a more sort of grounded, settled space, <laughs> headspace, I always need some sort of big Big deep clean and reorganization and just that's that's what I need that's what my soul is calling for so that's what we're gonna do I also noticed another thing that prompted this is because I so I've been I, I unpacked my suitcases and I just feel like I have too much clothing again I just feel like I have too many things like too many things that I don't wear that I don't reach for and I need to I need to do something about that so I'm gonna be doing a closet declutter a full deep clean of my apartment which I haven't done in a while since I moved in basically so I am gonna gonna be doing that. It's gonna feel lovely. And then another big thing that I'm gonna be focusing on very much is Ben. So just a quick little recap. Before I left, I was partway through chapter three. I hadn't finished chapter three yet. I did not do a lot of Ben work on vacation, unfortunately. I, I thought I would have a bit more time and energy to do that, but definitely didn't. So my ideal deadline of having this draft done by September 1st, absolutely not. Not happening. I do still feel like October 1st, my kind of more realistic deadline is very manageable. I think I can do that. So that's definitely what we're striving for. But currently I am on chapter, I'm finishing up chapter six. Technically I'm done, but I do wanna go over because there's like at the very end of the second scene in chapter six, there's a bit of dialogue that I want to tweak still. So I'm gonna finish that up, but basically I'm done chapter six. So I'll be starting chapter seven. There's still definitely a ways to go, but I'm really, I'm really excited. I'm really excited, especially because currently I asked one of my critique partners if she was willing to read through the draft as I was writing it, like as I was writing this new draft. Basically every time I finish a chapter, I upload it to our shared Word doc and she gives me notes on it. The feedback that she has given me has been so incredible. I've agreed with so much of it. It has been so helpful. It has been so helpful. It feels wrong that I'm not 
like I'm not paying her like that I'm not paying her money like the quality of the feedback she's giving me is so it's invaluable it's given me life not only is it helping me with things that I'm struggling with in the story but it's also she's like hyping me up in other places and it just feels so good it feels so good she did read my third draft which oh my god I'm so sorry that I sent anyone my third draft it was so bad but she's also read my third draft and so she's she has seen the the improvement the progression and she's made me feel really good about it and she's also given me a lot of feedback on how I can further tweak and improve things as I'm going along and it's just giving me this boost I wasn't sure how I would feel about getting feedback on a draft as I'm writing it but it feels good like it's really it's it's feeling really good and so she's giving me feedback on the first few chapters and there are already things that like I agree with as far as the feedback that she's giving me on how I can possibly kind of tighten things up and just improve things a bit I I'm like getting ideas for things that I want to change I'm excited like I'm just excited I'm excited to get this book I feel like it's getting so close like there's just like little things I need to fix and it's getting, making it better <laughs> I feel so lucky to have her as a critique partner like I just I lucked out if you're watching this you're amazing thank you Thank you so much. So yeah, that's what's going on. We're gonna be working on Ben. We're gonna be doing some deep cleaning, some grounding, some settling in, and it's gonna be a great time. Hi, it is the next day. It's Friday, August 30th. It is about 11 a.m. My main goals for today are I need to finish editing a video for Patreon and I need to get started on the deep clean of my apartment. I'm also planning on getting some Ben work done in the evening, but first I really need to get started on cleaning up my space. Like I just really, my apartment is a mess. Like I literally still have just like piles of laundry around that I need to fold. I have so much paperwork and mess everywhere. So we're gonna get started on that and hopefully that will help me feel a little less scattered. Like I'm just feeling really scattered. Like I can't quite focus on anything. So I think getting started on the deep clean is the way to go. And I'll just kind of alternate between getting some cleaning done and then doing some video editing. Usually my deep cleans and declutters take me almost a week to do but I'm hoping I can get this deep clean and declutter done by the end of the month in the next two days basically I'm only really decluttering my clothing so I'm not gonna spend too much time going through all of my things the main thing is a deep clean I really need to clean Goose's cage today so I'm gonna get started on that and then I'll update you a little bit later next day it is august 31st the last day of august it's about 9 30 a.m i have a full day of things to do today yesterday i did not do very much vlogging but i feel like i got i got a good chunk of my deep clean done i finished the office the entryway the coat closet and the kitchen it felt so so good and i did make good progress on my patreon video so i'm finishing that up today that's the first thing that i just kind of want to get done and out of the way otherwise today i really want to get the rest of my deep clean done although I might depending on the time I might save my like closet declutter for tomorrow I might just finish that up tomorrow and take my time with that I have my little to-do list for the day it seems like oh I also want to get groceries I do need to get groceries I'm feeling pretty good even though I did get out of bed later than I had intended I'm just gonna finish up this edit I'm watching Halloween baking championship I've literally seen every season available on prime I've watched it already but I haven't watched it in a while and it's you know I'm really I'm really excited about fall and the spooky season I'm excited about it every year but I'm especially excited about it this year I don't know what it is I just really I just really want to get into fall and the spooky season I want to embrace it and take it in as much as possible so that's what's going on I'm gonna get to work so sweaty it's three o'clock right now i have finished deep cleaning the bathroom the living room i feel really good about that i'm gonna leave i've decided i'm gonna leave the bedroom and the closet declutter for tomorrow i have too many other little things that i want to get done so i'm gonna work on those today instead so like i said right now it's about 3 p.m i'm gonna take a little bit of a break a productive break before i get into my ben work for the evening the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go get some groceries i don't need a crazy amount of the fire alarm in my building is going off, so I don't know if I'll be able to get out of here just yet. But as soon as that's cleared up, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. And then when I get back... Your attention, please. There's a fire alarm condition in the 
I have my dry erase calendar here. I haven't done anything since April, as you can see. So I'm feeling like I really need, this is a big part of my kind of like grounding and feeling settled and organized. So I'm gonna fill that out for September and then I haven't decided if I'm gonna do my bullet journal for September, if I'm gonna do any sort of thing. I've been kind of just using my bullet journal currently as just a place to write down my daily to-do list. Like I'm literally just writing the date and then my to-do list for that day. And I think, I think I might keep doing that at least until I finish this bullet journal. I'm almost done. I'm like near the end of it. So I think instead of trying to do a whole bullet journal spread, I'm just gonna use it as a notebook and write my to-do list until I finish this one and then I will start a new one and I'll do a little bit more of a spread for the month. So yeah, that's what's going on. I think right now I'm just gonna prep a little bit of the dinner that I wanna make and hopefully by the time I'm done that, everything will be cleared up and I can leave and everything will be fine. I'll get some groceries, come back, make my food, eat, do my little calendar thing. I'll probably watch a movie while I'm doing all that. It'll be lovely, a nice little horror movie. Mm. And then we'll get into some Ben work. I'm actually very excited. It's been a little while since I've worked on Ben, so here we go. Okay, I'm back from the grocery store. I'm just gonna give you a quick peek at what I got. I'm not gonna do a full haul, but this is what I got at the grocery store. Not a crazy amount of stuff, but it was so expensive. Oh my God. Happy September. Today is September 1st. It's Sunday. I'm gonna be leaving in about an hour, but I kind of wanted to just do a little sit down chat. I feel like, I mean, I was away for three weeks and I didn't really do actual talking to the camera vlogging. So I feel a little bit out of practice. I also haven't started editing this vlog. So I don't even know what I've said so far, but I did finish my apartment deep clean and closet declutter today. Decluttering my closet took a lot longer than I thought it would. I knew it would take a little bit of time, but I didn't think it would take as much time as it did this morning, but it feels so good to have that finally done. I did declutter quite a bit of clothing. Most of it is for donation. It's just kind of a little too worn. So I'm donating those, but I think I got about 10 or so pieces that are good enough to try and sell on Depop. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. And decluttering my closet also reminded me that I have so much clothing in bags that I need to post on Depop. But overall, I'm feeling so good that my deep clean is done. Like a deep clean, oh, like it never fails. It never fails. Doing a deep clean, a declutter, a reorganization, it never fails to help me feel more grounded and more organized and more settled. That's the first thing that I do. Highly recommend if you're feeling a little bit floaty. I mean, like I'm always, I'm almost always feeling a little bit floaty and ungrounded. It is a constant thing that I need to actively work on is to, to ground myself and to feel settled and to feel organized and just like in control. If you kind of feel like you've been a little down in the dumps lately in a little bit of a rut, do a deep clean, do a declutter, or just reorganize something. It really just puts me in a headspace where I feel powerful again. Like I feel I feel in control I feel like I can get things done and I'm excited I'm motivated I'm feeling inspired so highly recommend I think another reason why I'm feeling really good and finally kind of starting to feel a little bit grounded and a little more settled is honestly because fall is upon us we're getting into spooky season we're getting into that autumnal vibe I love it I love it so much autumn late summer autumn my favorite that's my favorite time of year it honestly just it just gives me the best feelings I love feeling cozy I love feeling comfy, warm. I love it all. I love it all. And then of course winter starts and I really get hit with the seasonal depression. But before that, right before that, I'm thriving. So before we get into the seasonal depression, I'm just gonna make the best of this fall season. Like I'm so, I'm so, I can't, I'm so excited. Anyway, I feel like I'm going on a little bit of a tangent. I kind of just wanted to, gosh, I feel like this vlog, <laughs> again, was meant to be like a getting back into work and getting back into doing some Ben stuff, which I have 
done. I finished up chapter six completely. I think really this vlog was just kind of settling back in. One of those little in-between vlogs, I've just gotten back from vacation. I'm just getting back into the groove of things again, settling in. That being said, I really am excited for the next two months. I've done a little bit of content planning and stuff. Just know that I'm excited, okay? I can't remember if I talked about all of the books that I read while I was on vacation. I don't think I did. The three weeks I was on vacation, that is the most reading I've done in that span of time. I got four books read. I read four books in the three weeks that I was away and that was just, I was living for it. I wanted to get a lot more writing done, but I really do think that reading is what I was meant to do on, on that vacation. I mean, really, that's all I had the bandwidth and the energy to do. It was such a social vacation. I was constant, I was like never alone. Like I would go to the bathroom even when I didn't really need to just to kind of have a few minutes alone throughout the day because I was just constantly surrounded by people and I'm very grateful for that because I love my family, I love those people, so that was great. But I'm also really grateful that it gave me the opportunity to just do a bunch of reading. Like any second that I possibly could, I was reading and I loved it. So really quick, the books that I read, the first book that I read was The Woman I Want Dead. It's the sequel to The Woman I Befriended by Sarah Kate. Technically, I think I was about 40% probably through that book when I got there. So that's the first one that I just finished off. And then I was feeling like I just needed something a little bit lighter, a little bit summery. So I ended up reading The Dream Guy by Rebecca C. Smith. I just kind of looked through my Kindle to see what I already had on there and I had The Dream Guy, which just, sound, it's a rom-com and it just sounded, it sounded so cute, so. And then I wanted to finish Broken Perfect Lies because I had, I, I think I started that when it like when it first came out. I probably got to about 10% and then just kind of started reading other things and never really got back to it and I've been meaning to get back to it. So I was like, this is the time, this is, it's now. So I did finish Broken Perfect Lies by Katie Wismer and I really enjoyed it. I, I liked her writing in that one. So I'm glad that I finally got back to that one and finished it. And then the last book that I read was Slaughterhouse-Five, which is the poll winner. I did a little poll on my Instagram for what book I should bring with me on vacation to read, like what physical book, and that's the one that won. And I was like, I can't not read this one while I'm on vacation. So I read that one and I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot so I feel like it definitely filled my creative well quite a bit and it was a good it was a good range of things like it was a good mix of things I liked it it was a good reading experience I finished Slaughterhouse 5 on the plane on the way back and then I started a new e book for the last little bit that I was on the plane and it's called 80s Ghosts by V.S. Lawrence. It's an indie published book and I'm only about 10% in. I haven't done any more reading in it since I've been back but with the spooky season coming up I'm going to be picking my spooky TBR. It fits the vibe so I'll be finishing that one in September, October for sure. So yeah, that's what's going on. I am starting to feel a little bit more settled, a little more calm, a little bit more like I can focus on my creative projects. I'm feeling really good especially now that everything's kind of deep cleaned and decluttered. I do still need to clean out my car. I need to clean out my car, but my apartment is deep cleaned and decluttered and things kind of have their place now. There's still quite a few things that I need to get for this new place, but I'm gonna be working on it slowly. I did finally order a full length mirror for my bedroom. That came yesterday, just in time for me to do my clothing declutter today because I was doing a lot of trying things on and I don't have a full length mirror. The only mirror that I have in this place is in my bathroom and it's just, I can't. I can't see, I've been using my TV to see my full body when I put an outfit on. So I definitely needed a full length mirror that came yesterday, very excited about that. I also ordered a chair. I've never had to do that because my old apartment is tiny and it, you know, just kind of fit my couch. I didn't really have room for more seating other than obviously the little bar stools at the kitchen counter, but I've ordered a chair. I'm actually really excited about it. It's a bold color. I'm used to shades of gray for my seating, but I wanted something with a little bit more of a pop of color. So I got a chair. It's going to go right here. This is, this is kind of where I'm thinking it'll go, we'll see. Hopefully it works with the space, we'll see. I'm I'm excited, but that, I don't think that'll be coming until a little bit later in September, so we'll see about that. There's a couple more kind of bigger things that I want to get, mainly it's just bookshelves. Bookshelves and some other little storage solutions for the office. That's kind of the rest of the big stuff, and then everything else is just, I, I wanna do some decor stuff, but I'll, I'll let that slowly happen over time. I'm also really looking forward to 
with decorating for Halloween and autumn this year. Like I, I can't, I can't, and I'm gonna vlog all that. So you'll be seeing all that for sure. But yeah, in general, I'm feeling pretty good. I do wanna start kind of getting into a routine, like getting a good solid routine down. Since I've been back, I've been going to bed around the same time, which is pretty early for me. And then waking up pretty early around the same time every day. And that's been feeling really good. And I really just wanna build on that and just, I wanna create just the perfect routine for myself for the season. I feel like my routines change as the seasons change, but I really just want to create the best routine I've ever created this season. Like that's the, I, I'm just so excited for fall. I'm so excited for autumn for spooky season. Like I'm just, it's my favorite time, especially when I'm not working. Like, especially like I, I'm very grateful that I'm off work right now because autumn is my favorite time to create like a more structured daily routine there's something about it there's just something magical about autumn i can't it is so good and honestly after the heat that i had to endure while i was in portugal i'm ready for the fall weather i'm ready for cooler temperatures less humidity i'm ready for crisp i'm ready for fresh i'm ready for warm spices oh my god i'm ready for the sweaters i'm ready for candles i'm ready for all of it crunchy leaves I'm excited. Anyway, all that being said, I'm gonna close this vlog off now. I'm gonna do a little bit of Ben work later on, but I think mostly I'm gonna be working on some video editing. I will be getting a little Portugal vlog up very soon. I did vlog a bit while I was there, but it's, it, was, it was all just kind of vlogging things. A lot of the footage is just like family stuff, but I'm gonna put together a little vlog and kind of talk about my experience there. It was, it was lovely. It was, it was so good. So expect that vlog very soon, but honestly, the next two months are just gonna be, it's just gonna be settling in, getting cozy, getting comfy, getting into a good routine, finishing Ben, finishing draft five of Ben, and really just embracing the fall vibes, the spooky season. That's honestly what the next two months are all about, and I can't wait, I can't wait. So yeah, let me know how you're doing, let me know how your writing is going, let me know how your reading is going, how your spooky season, getting into the autumn season is going. I'm so happy to be back, I'm so happy to be creating content again and connecting with you guys. I'm excited. Thank you so much for watching, and if you got to the end of this video, comment down below, stay gold, because you are gold.